After four decades as a TV host, Katie Couric is releasing a memoir full of anecdotes that some of her celebrity guests would have preferred to keep private. In Going There, the 64-year-old presenter reveals odd details on her industry, her own private life, her colleagues, and even Prince Harry. Back in 2012, the royal was still the eligible bachelor who loved to party and was invited by Couric for an interview for ABC News. The TV host wanted to interview him on his tour throughout the Commonwealth celebrating his grandmother's 60 years of reign. The face-to-face -face interview was then filmed in Brazil after she met him for the first time at a polo match. Within the 500-page book, Couric recalled her encounter with Harry during his wild oats sowing phase. As she met with the prince, she remembered that the smell of cigarettes and alcohol seemed to ooze from every pore of his body, as reported by the Daily Mail. The interview broadcasted on the American Channel was largely dedicated to questions on Queen Elizabeth. The Duke of Sussex notably said his grandmother managed to get the monarchy to move with the times. Prince Harry has reportedly stopped smoking since he married Meghan Markle in 2018 on top of adopting a healthier lifestyle. In March 2021, he said losing his mother at such a young age had something to do with his tendency to party too hard in his 20s. I can safely say that losing my mom at the age of 12 and therefore shutting down all of my emotions for the last 20 years has had a quite serious effect on not only my personal life but also my work as well, Harry wrote in a post in partnership with BetterUp. His co-workers include the likes of Richard Robinson, Chris Krebs, and the now Katie Couric. Moore's Couric's book gives no quarter to many celebrities to the extent that a source told the Daily Mail. She'll be stuck with her newsletter and Instagram stories for the rest of her working life, even though the book oozes of her desperation to be back on network television hosting her own show. Another source said the book should be called Burning Bridges by Katie Couric.